Welcome to our usual hovers. I'm Ikela Makan, and today I'm playing for the game Face You Less, where we awaken to find someone in bed with us, and now we need to try and find out who it is. Tonight, the air feels just a bit heavier, and the wind blows just a bit too fast. Doors creaking, dogs barking, clock ticking. It all gets louder and louder, as if trying to keep me up on purpose. I turn and turn again, waiting for a pause in the noise that never comes. Ultimately, I give up on my hopeless attempt at falling asleep. I stare at the ceiling for a short while, as I notice something in the corner of my eye. Oh, well, aren't you adorable? Next to me stood a contorted figure, its features melting one into each other. Okay, I think I need to ask first. Have we ever murdered a guy? And then did we stick the corpse into our bed? Because that's kind of the idea that I'm getting. The eyes warp into the nose as the mouth shrinks and grows. I blink a couple times, trying to chase the strange figure away. To my dismay, it doesn't vanish once I open my eyes. It seems like this distorted stranger is here to stay. It's cold stares sending chills down my spine. I might as well try to figure out who this person is. A cacophony of shapes and colours lay on its face. I should try to make it out one feature at a time. Now, I should focus on the... I feel like eyes is the most sensible solution, right? I mean, there aren't they meant to be like really identifiable. But sod it, I really want to pick eyebrows. I point my eyes and the figure's eyebrows. Its face starts to resemble the face of... Oh! Oh, I picked correctly! That fixed your entire face! My high school crush! His thin eyebrows really completed his baby face. For a short while, I was infatuated with him. He was one of the popular guys, an untouchable being. Is that why we murdered him and stuck him in our bed? My crush on him disappeared as fast as it started. He became irrelevant to everyone after high school. Meek, will you accept me? Hmm. No, no I don't believe I will. You are now irrelevant to me. Oh, we're back to the distorted face. I feel like I should accept you just the way you are. You are beautiful. The face mutters and starts contorting again. I have to try again. Now, I should focus on the... Oh, so each feature is going to give me a different face, right? What would happen if I rejected every single option? Let's find out. I point my eyes on the figure's nose. Its face starts to resemble the face of... Oh, oh, you're just staring at me, huh? My older sister. She was very insecure about her nose. But I always thought it was perfect. Being ten years older than me, it was natural that she would mature before me. She moved away shortly after turning twenty. We barely see each other now. You are disposable to him. Who is him? Oh, I didn't even get the option to reject you. The face mutters and starts contorting again. I have to try again. Now I should focus on... Let's go for the lips. Clearly my older sister is not the solution we want. I point my eyes on the figure's lips. Its face starts to resemble the face of... Mother? Mother, is that you? Oh, it is! Why? Why is my mother and sister just watching me? Rather menacingly. My mother? Her shivering lips still flash a smile of pride. She went through so much hardship to raise me and my sister. And time hasn't been kind to her either. She was always there when I needed someone. I want to always be there for her too. No one will ever care for you. Well, that's not a very motherly thing to say. I may be uh, retracting my statement of wanting to be there for you, mother. Yeah, you disappear. The face mutters and starts contorting again. I have to try again. 
Wait, is my high school crush gonna be the only face I can accept? What about the eyes? I point my eyes on the figure's eyes. Its face starts to resemble the face of... Oh, aren't you adorable, your little gap smile? My first friend! His sparkling eyes, full of life, glanced at me with nothing but joy. We bonded very quickly over cartoons when we were very young. Our friendship began in kindergarten and ended in elementary. From there, we went on different paths in life. You don't deserve anything. Oh, get out of here, you little snot. Oh, oh, that's what happens if uh, we don't accept any faces. The face mutters, echoing through the entire room. Louder and louder, my ears start bleeding. I feel tears forming. I look at the stranger's face, and the void looks back. You are a burden. A hundred voices resound. Worthless. I bury my head in the pillow, but the voices won't stop. Unlovable. The room crumbles. What good is a jerk toy? I wake up in a cold sweat, trying to catch my breath. Meek, are you okay? Is... Uh, was that my childhood crush? I don't know if it is. Y yeah, I had a nightmare, that's all. Oh, it's okay. It was just a nightmare. He wraps his arms around me and starts gently caressing my head in a vain attempt to comfort me. Do you still care about me? The question came out more desperate than intended. His soft smile shifts. My nose starts mounting into my mouth. Of course I still care about you. What kind of silly question is that? Because I care about you more. I let out a small giggle. He fell right into my trap. Well, that can't be the case, because I care about you the most. Well, I care about you the most most Mostest? That's not even a word, silly. We laugh at each other for a bit. I try my best to ignore my face melting, just for a moment. But seriously, I could never love someone as much as I love you, Meek. <laughs> now you're just being dramatic. I cover my face with my hands to hide my intense blush, but also to keep my face in place. I mean it. You are my sunshine. And you are my world. I bury my face in his chest. I can feel his heart beating. I don't want to think about ugly things. Just this once, I'll let myself feel his warm embrace. All right, let's stop this clinky talking. I have to wake up early tomorrow. He lifts my head and kisses what is left from my lips. I wish it could last forever. Good night, sunshine. I love you. I love you too. Oh, I seem to have found our bad end. Of course I still care about you. What kind of silly question is that? I don't know. Lately it feels like you've been looking at me with disdain. Disdain? Meek, is everything okay? I can feel my right eye melting down my face. The eyelids flap around with sadness. I don't know what has gotten into you, but I really do care about you. What makes you think that I don't? His words don't fully reach me. I avoid his gaze, pointing my gouged out eyes at the ceiling. Am I doing something wrong? You know you can always tell me if something bothers you. My face warps and contorts unnaturally. He sounds just like the rest. Ah, our boyfriend is one of the void. A broken record, letting out a horrible tune. He brings me closer with his arms. His heart doesn't beat anymore. Let's talk about this some other time, okay? I have to wake up early tomorrow. 
he kisses my forehead, leaving a string of disgusting acid on his lips. Good night, sunshine. I love you, he mutters as my face starts contorting again. I don't say it back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short playthrough of Face You Left. I'm still not convinced there's not a chance that we murdered our boyfriend. I mean, we did say we didn't hear his heart beating in that second ending. If you enjoyed that playthrough, I'd greatly appreciate you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But I'm that, you spooky day, and I'll catch you next time, guys.